hello you guys what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Amanda and I've been kind of MIA on YouTube for a little bit so hello I'm back and excited to be back the past couple weeks have been such a disaster it's not even funny I went from Evan having COVID me being sick and then I thought I was better for a couple days then got really sick again ended up having a viral infection really sick for another week and then we went to the cape last week which i plan on vlogging and my hormones were so out of whack the entire week i have never been grumpier in my entire life so um that was really fun for me and now we're back home and i'm gonna start taking you guys along through life because i feel like there are exciting things happening and i want to take you guys along through them so Welcome to the vlogs. Join the lovely little fam if you haven't already. I'm so excited for what's to come in the future. But I figured I would give you guys a little bit of an update, slight, just to start off this vlog to like maybe get you excited. As you guys know, if you've been following for a little bit, my boyfriend Evan and I moved out of our apartment last year. It's almost been like a year, well, it was the end of last year that we moved out and we've been living separate ever since. He's with his parents, I'm back at my parents' house um, just because it's easiest. We have like our own spaces and everything. So we've been going back and forth on what we want to do for our next move and we have finally decided on buying a house and so really really excited to take you guys along through all of that this weekend we did a couple house tours and drove around a couple different areas to kind of get a feel for different areas um i will say that we thought we were going to be doing a bigger move but because evan's job is going to be staying basically remote we are going to be staying in connecticut so that's kind of a little other twist because we really thought we were going to be making a bigger move but we're not, but we don't know exactly the area we're going to be in Connecticut yet, so we're kind of looking all over the place. We did apply for a house and we just found out actually that we didn't get it, but I don't think it was the one for us anyway. Um, it was a nice house, had a lot of good things going for it, but it obviously was not meant to be. So we are going to be touring a couple more tomorrow, so I'm really excited and I'll try and take you guys through that a little bit. Um, I do, I would love to like, Take you guys through and have you kind of guess which one we end up picking because i think that would be fun um i didn't end up getting a video of the first couple that we toured but they just weren't it so it doesn't really matter that much yeah i'm so excited so it's currently tuesday today i am going out to dinner with some of my friends i'm really excited and i'm also going to be starting going on my makeup artist journey and I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on this for you guys, so I won't talk about it much in here, but definitely check that video out. Um, I'm not sure if it's already going to be up or after. I'm going to be doing probably a couple different videos taking you guys along, and I'm so excited. This is something that I've considered doing for a while, but I am going to start off with that today. I'm kind of just letting my hair air dry. It's really rainy and gross out, um, so I feel like it's probably not worth doing it just yet anyway. We'll see how the day goes on to see if I want to like do it before I go to dinner or whatever, but that's what's up. I'm going to sit down, get going on the course, and yeah, I'm really, really excited. Okay guys, so as you saw, I was just doing the course for quite some time. I did it for like a couple hours. I got like 10% done. I did like 10 of the modules, um, just like the introduction kind of stuff. So I still have quite a bit more to do, but obviously at the end of it, you're gonna be a certified makeup artist, so it makes sense. But I did all the intro stuff and it took a bunch of notes. So I'm really excited to get started. The beginning just kind of gets you like excited and ready and you feel prepared to like get started on the journey so today was definitely awesome where's pip oh you're right you're so you're so silly girl you're so silly <laughs> so now i need to go get ready to go out to dinner with my friends um so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and 
use this hair waver. I got it while we were up at the Cape and I've been wanting to try one of these and so I saw this one and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do it. So let's try and figure this out together. All right, so we're gonna try and figure out this hair waver. I don't really know what I'm doing. I imagine it will be pretty easy. I just don't know how long I need to be like holding it on my hair for, um, for it to not burn off. I know you all have that fear from that girl they had on all over the news when we were little, burning off that big chunk of her hair. I think about her every time I like curl my hair or anything like that. <laughs> the other thing is I was looking at the instructions for like the heat and I usually use really high heat on my hair, which I know is not like a good thing, but I'm like nervous. Okay, so I feel like that's not long enough because that did nothing. Okay, try a little bit longer. I'm putting it up kind of like halfway, a little over halfway because I usually use high heat on my hair and it's usually fine, um, but it did say like color treated hair to use like a lower setting. I feel like my hair needs kind of like a lot of heat for it to do anything. Okay, so that worked better. Hopefully this works because I have like a vision to use this for one of my fashion week outfits. So we'll see. Okay, well it did something I'm not sure I love it but <laughs> let's see maybe I'll feel different when more is done I have no idea what I'm doing I feel like I need to be holding it for longer or doing higher heat but I'm scared I doubt it matters which way I'm holding this but like am I doing it the wrong way like does the other side need to be up I don't know Okay, so it's doing something, except I'm feeling like I'm not liking it. I'm gonna try and do this side up. I don't know why that would change anything. We're gonna try that. Okay, for some reason, why can I not get my hair in this way? Okay, this actually makes more sense because then I can see better where I need to be section it, I think. Okay, I still don't think I'm holding it for long enough. For some reason, I feel like this way is working better. Like, why do I feel like that worked literally so much better? Okay. I couldn't tell you why that makes such a difference because I feel like it's doing this I don't know whatever we won't ask questions we're just gonna accept and move on okay that's working a little bit better I can't tell if it sounds like my hair is sizzling or if it's like this machine, just like making noise. A little concerning, slightly. Minor, minor concern. That's definitely much better than the first round. Okay, she's not bad. We're gonna keep going and I guess I'll show you when we get half done. Okay. Half the head is done. I feel like it's like kind of cute. I feel like it can go both ways, like love it or hate it, but I feel like it's like kind of cute. Like I can't tell if like I'm supposed to do it all at the same spot or if I'm supposed to alternate. I probably should have like, I don't know, looked into that first, but for now, I'm obviously just gonna do the same thing on the other side so it doesn't look like, what did you do? But, yeah, kinda cute. It looks like kinda natural, like kinda like effortless, like I just braided my hair and slept on it, which I kinda like. I don't know, what do we think? 
Okay guys, so I just finished the hair. This is the final product. I can't really see the back, so hopefully she's fine. But I'm now gonna do my makeup, and I'm just gonna do like a quick makeup because it's like four o'clock and I just like don't want to have to like rush slash stress at all so I'm not going to film it and I feel like it ends up making it way too long um but I definitely will do an updated make routine soon as I'm like learning from like the makeup course I feel like it'll be fun to like actually have something new because I literally you guys know if you've watched me for a little bit like I don't ever change my makeup like very rarely I'll like get a new product um, but I kind of like find what I like and just keep doing it. It's kind of boring to keep watching the same thing But I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll show you guys the after. Um, I don't know if I'm wearing this outfit I'm like kind of not feeling it. I just threw it on earlier So I don't know what I'm gonna end up wearing. It's like kind of rainy and gross out That's kind of why I did just like a wavy hair because my hair gets wavy if it gets wet So I figured like it wouldn't change that much, but I don't know I don't know. We're gonna see. Right now, this is just like a little like two-piece set. I have socks on because my feet were freezing. Not cute with it. But I don't know. I think we're dressing kind of more cash tonight. I had an outfit picked out already, but because we're dressing more cash, I feel like it's like a little bit too much. Unsure. So yeah, that's what's up. I'm gonna go do my makeup. Okay, guys, so I just finished getting ready. The hair is growing on me for sure. Um, I feel like it'll be just like a cute new hairstyle thrown into my rotation because I feel like I don't know how to do hair and this gives me something else fun to do. So, um, definitely gonna practice a little bit more as time goes on, but I don't mind it. So, I just got dressed. Um, I'm just wearing this little brown satin. It's actually a top from Bohm, but I'm wearing it as like a little dress. And then I have these <laughs> boots on. So, really cute, love that. Um, just like a really simple outfit um, for dinner. We're gonna get like tacos and stuff, so. Pretty simple, but still cute and like fun just cause dressing up is fun and like I don't go out that often, so it's fun. So um, I did just want to go over because you guys ask me all the time about my new jewelry and so I get new pieces from Ana Luisa every month. So I like to show you guys when I get them. Um, I've been wearing these for a while. I haven't been like super active posting, so you've probably seen them here or there, but I haven't posted them too, too much, but I'm obsessed, I've been wearing them literally nonstop since I got them. So the first new piece are these cute little earrings that have this little chain hanging. I have been loving this trend. I've seen it on so many um, other influencers and people that I follow, I'm obsessed. So I finally got my hands on them and I feel like they're just like so simple, but they like make a statement at the same time. They add so much to an outfit. They're just like extra fun you know, compared to just like little tiny hoops. So I love that. I also got this top necklace that has a bunch of little diamonds in it. Um, I got this with one of my fashion week outfits in mind. So you guys will definitely be seeing this um, in fashion week, but I have not taken it off since. I feel like it goes with the rest of my little stack so well. I just like really, really, really love it. And then I took my bracelet off to tan. So I need to put this back on but I love this I like used to wear so many bracelets all the time and then I kind of like got out of it for a little bit just because I think I got lazy and like wasn't putting them on but I want to get back into it so last month you guys saw I got a matching one with my mom um for her birthday and I got another one this month again with the same fashion week outfit in mind so I'm really excited. I just literally ripped off all my nails. And so <laughs> me trying to use them right now is like almost laughable. They're so flimsy because I've had nails on for so long. This bobby pin trick really does help. You clip it on like the little loop. So then you can just loop it on. But this has like several little diamonds, just like three little ones. 
so cute. Again, there's kind of like a little teardrop shape. I love it so much. I actually showed you guys the Fashion Week top that I plan on wearing these with. It kind of has like rhinestones like around like the like cups of the corset top. So cute. And so I feel like the fact that those each have like a little bit of like bling with it and these um, earrings actually do too. They have like little diamonds going around the hoop and then just like the plain chain that dangles down. These are all gonna be so cute and going to be like everyday wear in like my fashion week looks that you guys will see very soon. It's gonna be here before we know it. I'm so excited. Um, and just like literally every day. Like I said, I have not taken these off since I've gotten them. They're easy to keep on. These, like I was worried that I would like, you know, pull them out when I was sleeping or break the chain or whatever. And like they have held up really well. I haven't had a problem at all. So far, so good. So if you guys are interested in checking out Anna Luisa for yourself, you can use my code AmandaLouise10 for 10% off of your order. Anna Luisa is my absolute favorite jewelry company. You guys know I'm constantly, constantly wearing them. I mean, everything you see is from Anna Luisa. I just adore them. Their quality is so amazing. They have sustainable jewelry for great prices. None of it's gonna turn your finger green. Everything will last for a super, super long time. Everything is worth your money. They're the best. I cannot say enough good things. You guys know I'm a huge, huge, huge Anna Luisa fan. I recommend them to everyone. I give them as gifts like I can't recommend them enough. I will put the names of all of my pieces that I showed you guys today down below and definitely go check them out. I will have the link in my description box down below and I also post about them all the time over on my Instagram so go check it out over there and yeah go get yourself some jewelry from Anna Luisa. So I am all ready for dinner now. I'm going to go out and meet my friends. I'm so, so, so excited. And I will take you guys along with me, or at least throw in a little clip or something. Let's go. Hi, guys. It is the next day. It's Wednesday. I apologize. I didn't check in with you guys after dinner last night. We had such a good time. Like, I just adore them. They're just the best. I feel so lucky that I met them. Like, just some of the sweetest, best girls that I've ever met. So, love that. I haven't talked to you guys all day. I haven't done that much. I've just been doing like some work. I did a little bit more of the Makeup Academy course and now I am waiting for my mom at work. We are going to meet up with Evan and his mom and we are touring, I think just one house tonight, hopefully more, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get into another one, so we'll see. I will definitely take you guys along and hopefully get to show you a little bit. So I have dust all over my lens, but that's that. I'll see you guys at the house.
Hello, my loves. You guys, I am head over heels in love with that house. I didn't expect much going into it. Like, I was like, eh, like, like, we'll see. I am like, I mean, I feel like you guys know me well enough to like, you know, I'm like out looking for like, okay, what can we get that like has been like newly redone, like it like feels new, like whatever, like our last place was like brand new, you know, like our last apartment, like, you know, that's typically my vibe. But this house was built in like 1940. The character in this house is absolutely unreal. Like it is so cute. I am going to carve for the rest of my life if <laughs> we don't end up with this house. The outside and everything needs like tons, tons of work. Like it hasn't been upkept on the outside at all. But the street that it's on and the town that it's in is like a crazy sought after area. A really, really expensive road. There's literally like a neighborhood like up a couple houses and off to the left that has like million dollar houses in it like the area like we drove through this area the other day um just to like just like drive by the house and whatever my jaw's literally like on the floor like i was like i'm obsessed and like even still with that i was like okay but like i don't know like the house is like we'll see i am literally in love like evan was so shocked because he's like this is like not you and I'm I can't say enough good things like it it so needs a ton of work mostly on the outside um, the bathrooms need to be redone and the rooms um, are like fairly small but like it feels so spacious like still even with everything being like pretty small I'm obsessed I'm obsessed like head over heels head over heels in love. So um, it's priced very, very high, a little above our budget. However, with everything that needs fixing and like the maintenance it needs and the house has been on the market for a hundred days, which like the housing market is insane right now. Like if you know anything about it, things are gone in a day. Like it's crazy right now. It's like impossible to get something. So obviously, it's priced too high for like what it is. Um, it's definitely priced according to the location and everything and like the bones are so good, but it definitely needs some work, but like we could do it over time. Like nothing is like, okay, it needs to be immediately redone like right this second. Like everything that's there is livable. It just needs a little TLC. And I almost like that because then we can customize it a little bit to what we like. I'm obsessed, like obsessed. I hope you can get the vibe through the video. I like wanna just keep like going back and like watching it. I'm, I'm just in love, like in love with it. So, yeah, I think it's so cute. And so I hope we're gonna put in an offer. We're still gonna tour a couple others. My mom and I are actually gonna drive around to like just buy a couple other locations. There's one location that Evan is like, I don't think it's in like a good spot. So he's like, I don't even wanna look at it, but the house itself is like beautiful. So I'm like, I think we should at least like, I wanna just go and make sure that like it's an absolutely unreasonable location. It's kind of near like a busy intersection type thing. So like, obviously I understand that, like that's not my first pick either, but I feel like the house makes it worth looking at still. So we will see, fingers crossed. I love that house so much. And I think Evan's a little scared because it needs like, you know, some work and our whole budget will be going into this house. So it would need to be done over time, which I get. I totally, totally, totally get. But I just love it so much. So we'll see. So um, yeah, that's that. I'm in love. I didn't expect that at all. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go watch the video back like 700 times and um, yep, become more obsessed. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Hello, happy Thursday. It's 
midday. I just showered. And I'm about to eat smart food and get ready. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten. I need to eat something. We have nothing in the house. So we were just like away for a week. And then we've been looking at houses. So I'm so hungry. We are going to tour two more houses today. I'm going in with an open mind. However, I have not been able to stop thinking about that house we saw yesterday. We ended up touring two yesterday. I didn't show you guys the second one just because like the location was really nice, but just like the house itself, like just didn't do anything for me. So I just didn't even end up filming it. The other one I went back through after we looked through it to like kind of get a video because like I felt so strongly about it and I wanted to share it with you guys. But the first one, like the family was still living there. They weren't there when we toured, but like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like it's like disrespectful to like show inside of their house. The other house, like, the woman wasn't living there anymore, so, like, I thought it was, like, fine. But if there's any today that, like, I'm, like, feel very strongly about, I mean, I'll still try and show you guys some more just, like, so you can see some. I think maybe one of them is vacant. I'm not sure. But I think we're doing two more today. And then I think we're doing two tomorrow. And potentially the one that we saw yesterday again tomorrow. Because if we tour all of these and... I'm sorry, it's so annoying I'm eating. I literally feel like I'm gonna black out. I should just be eating and then filming this one. If we tour these four or however many we end up touring between today and tomorrow and none of them feel like it, one of them, the offers are due tonight. So like we're gonna literally need to tour it if we feel strongly about it, put in an offer and then like we'll know hopefully by the weekend. But the rest of them, I don't think offers are due like today or tomorrow um but so if you know like we don't feel as strongly about these houses as we do the first one we're gonna put in an offer the only reason we're waiting is because you can't really put in more than one offer on a house at a time and so like maybe one will blow us away today that won't need as much work we'll see i think it's gonna be really hard to compete with that one but i'm trying to go in with an open mind i'm just honestly so shocked that i feel so strongly about that house yesterday because I kind of went in with like negative thoughts about it. Like I was just kind of very indifferent and I, we walked around the outside of the house before um, like Evan and his mom got there and like our like real estate agent got there and we were like, oh my God, this needs so much work. Like the outside just hasn't been upkept at all. I don't remember exactly what I told you guys yesterday, but like we were like, oh my gosh, like this needs work. And so like I kind of went in with like a, well, we'll see how this one goes. And I was just blown away. So we'll see. Obviously, like I started off thinking I would want something newer with like less work to do, but like you just can't replicate like the like the character in that house. It's I just I don't know. I feel like the pictures and the videos just don't do it justice. It's like being there is like, I don't know, like the vibes are just immaculate. So I literally was like up all night, researched the house for hours because I couldn't fall asleep. So I'm pretty tired. I slept for a little bit. I fell back asleep for a little bit, but like, I'm tired. I need to get ready. So I'm not stressed out. Our first showing is in two hours. So like, I need to get ready, but that's what's up. I'll see you when we're ready and head to the house or out the house.
hello guys so i showed you guys a couple house we toured two so far um our real estate agent is actually evan's cousin and he's in the middle of flipping a house right now so we're actually on our way to look at that it's like not finished yet but we are just gonna look but we toured two i don't know if either of them are the one the first one is definitely not the one it was really really cool as you could see like it had a lot of really cool things about it but it was kind of like a bachelor pad um they were saying that it was two bedroom but one of them was like right where you walk into the house like you had to walk into the house through the room so it was kind of weird and like i don't know no closet like nothing like we definitely could not like grow in the house like you know like it's not like a have it very long term thing because it barely is enough space like barely works right now it was really nice really like like up kept well like in really good shape liked it a lot it just like wasn't it it was not for us it was kind of like a single guy kind of house vibe but very cool the right person is gonna absolutely love it but it just was not for us and we just toured another one i'll show you guys that one now
so fast, was moving south. Through my secret sauce, move in and out. Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth. It was really nice. It's like completely flipped. Um, so everything is like, for the most part, very new, which is really nice. Everything is very gray, which is not really my vibe, but it's very open concept. There's more than enough room for everything. It's on a really steep driveway, which we don't love. I mean, being in Connecticut in the winter, not great. It's also very shaded with a ton of trees. Kind of feels like a very gloomy day and like it's not a gloomy day out. I don't know. We'll see. It That one I would say is still like, we'll talk about it. Like it's not like 110% out of the running, but I don't think it's the one. We'll see, but I wanted to update you guys, give you a little, my thought process behind everything after you see it. So we'll go see this one. And then we have a couple tomorrow that aren't available till tomorrow. So we'll see them then. I'll take you guys along through those and then we'll see what happens. So I'll see you guys at the next place. Hi guys, happy Friday. It's uh, early, it's like 10. And um, we actually just went back to the first house that I told you guys that I was in love with. Um, we took my dad and Evan's dad um, to go and look at it because they didn't see it the first time just because it's an older house. Um, it needs a ton of work, so we really wanted their input on that. So um, yeah, we just ran back there. We're gonna tour a couple more later and then I'll catch up with you guys. My dad's coming here with Duncan now, so yippee. Okay guys, I am home now and my car needs to be cleaned so desperately. It's so bad. I, I feel like every time we travel, every time we go to and from the Cape, between dogs and like eating in the car and like whatever, my car gets so gross. So I'm gonna clean it out. I just like kind of took like all the garbage out, um, but I still have like clothes and stuff in the back that I need to get out and then I'm gonna vacuum everything, wipe it down. These wipes are so good. Um, I got them at Marshalls. They're Armor All disinfectant wipes. They're like designed for cleaning cars. First of all, they make your car smell like brand new and they do a really nice job. So, def recommend. I'll give you a little overview of my car before and then we'll do an after. I was like started wiping stuff down then I was like, you know what, I need to vacuum because it's gross. There's dog hair literally everywhere. So, like the cup holders are disgusting, like ew. Just, we need help, okay? Badly. Eek. Okay, I think we're gonna start with this. Okay, next plan. I had to go in because it started raining, but it cleared up a little bit. So I'm just gonna try and vacuum as much as I can really quick before it starts raining because obviously I can't have the vacuum outside while it's raining. Um, but then maybe I'll come back and get these clothes. But I'm gonna vacuum first. Let's do that. But most condos, you know, they like 
have restrictions on like what you can change and stuff and do outside and we really want a fenced in backyard for the dogs so because Pippa especially like just wants to be outside 24 7 like she loves the sun she just loves to be outside she wants to just like lay down in the grass and like they're so little I can't let them off a leash comfortably because I just I mean you could turn your back and they're gone in two seconds so um we want a fenced in area for them and so this condo has a fenced in backyard it's not big by any means it's more like patio and like a little patch of grass but I mean it's still something where they can like you know stay outside and like you know enjoy the day outside versus like just being stuck inside all the time so it is very expensive for a condo I feel like it's gonna end up almost being more than this house so that's why I, I don't think it's going to be it but I mean it's very cute um, I'll show you guys and we'll see what happens so I will take you guys along
Okay guys, so I'm sitting here editing this video back and I realized that I never finished it off. So, um, I also didn't like give you guys any more updates. So, we ended up on Friday, a bunch of the bookings that we had scheduled um, ended up selling. So, we had everything canceled and we found one other condo the night before and I don't think I told you guys but I was like kind of against a condo just for the alone fact that most of them don't have a fenced in backyard and that's something that I really really want for the dogs because Pippa especially wants to be outside just like 24 7 and I can't obviously walk around with her on a leash all day outside like you know it, I have things to do and like whatever so I want them to be able to be like safe in an enclosed area in the backyard Billy's making an appearance and so I was like and obviously a condo like you can't really change most of the exterior stuff so I was like I don't know it's just it's just not gonna be right like especially because we plan to have this like you know long term like we're buying a house obviously like this is going to be at least for like you know probably the next 10 years yeah so we found a condo it was um cute in the pictures had a fenced in back little area so i was like okay fine like let's look at it we made an appointment went to tour it it was beautiful i mean it was everything we wanted and more it's probably double the size of the cute older house that like i was just going on and on and on about to you guys about so I was like, you know, like, and it's more updated. It was built, you know, like in like the late nineties and I just had to take my dogs out quick. So it had everything we wanted and more. It was more along the lines of what I had pictured us getting or what I had pictured that I wanted when we first started looking. Um, it's very, you know, like way more up to date newer just like neutral the ceilings were so tall like you guys saw like i i did videos all the videos by the way were so filmed so horribly because i was trying to not be like vloggery when i was doing it you know i was like walking through um with evan's parents and like his cousin who's our real estate agent and everything and so i didn't want to be like here's this room here's the you know like i was just recording as we were walking through and talking and kind of you know that kind of thing so i apologize that the videos are trash i didn't expect them to be until i looked back and i was like oh um that was a bad idea so we evan loved it i mean i loved it too i was like i could really picture us here like it kind of is like everything we wanted and more um so we ended up putting an offer in we had a really good feeling about it however um someone made a really insane offer and <laughs> went way 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 over asking price so um yeah there was no way we were getting it um so i just wanted to update you guys on that because we just found that out last night i wasn't really recording this weekend um i i had every intention of filming this weekend because it was a really fun weekend we had a family reunion on my mom's side and then i became a godmother on sunday to my cousin's baby um and so then we celebrated like her big sister's birthday afterwards like it was just a really 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 nice weekend with family on both sides and so i really just wanted to like be there and enjoy it and like you know not filming and whatever yeah we found out last night after everything and now just to give you guys a little update i don't have like a final update but we did today just put in an offer on the older house that i was in love with so i had mentioned in the beginning of the video when i um first saw it it's over our budget a little bit um but it needs so much work so much work and it's been on the market for like over a hundred days so we put in an offer I don't know if she's going to accept it um, but fingers crossed and I will keep you guys updated in the vlogs to come and on my Instagram definitely follow me over on Instagram at I'm Amanda Louise if you don't already that is where you'll get the most real-time updates if you guys are excited to hear about our house hunting journey yeah this was so much fun taking you guys along through this process 
it's so stressful um but it's also so exciting um, because this is like a whole new chapter of our lives that I can't wait to take you guys along on. Um, so I feel like there are so many good things to come and when this house is ours, we're manifesting. Um, taking you guys along through like the renovation process and all of that. I'm just so excited. It's so much work and so much money, but like over time, I just can't wait to make it like our own and I'm just really, 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 really excited. So yeah, I again just wanted to remind you guys that if you want to check out Anna Luisa, all of the links will be down in my description box below and you can use Amanda Louise 10 for 10% off of your order. I, again, I can't say it enough. I cannot recommend Anna Luisa enough. The price and quality are unmatched. I love their stuff. They have such, such cute pieces. And if you're looking for a gift for yourself, a friend, a family member, whatever it may be, definitely check out Anna Luisa. The link will be down below in my description box. I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and being patient with me making my way back to YouTube. Thank you again so much for watching. Until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.